Hi everyone, welcome to BISP training. I am Faiz Alam, working as a functional consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP is a tech company providing technological solutions across the world. In today's session, uh, we will be having an overview of the fixed asset management under which we will get to know how an asset can be revalued, depreciated, or disposed of in our NetSuite application. So first we will get to know what is uh, revaluation. So revaluation is the process of any increase or decrease in the carrying value of an asset or group of fixed assets uh, due to the major changes in their fair market value. Uh, revaluation either leads to an increase or decrease in the net book value of the asset. Its analysis describes the carrying value or book value of the asset uh, throughout its life. Uh, a revaluation does not have any impact on the cash flow statement. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, I would say, mainly said like uh, it has no impact on the cash flow statement. Since it's a non-cash transaction, there is no cash inflows and outflows under the revaluation process. So it uh, has no impact on the cash flow statement. It can only be realized when the asset is uh, sold off. So uh, I would say it has no impact on our uh, cash flow statement. Uh, we can very well understand uh, the revaluation with the help of this uh, picture. We can see the arrow that is going upward, which is a gain for the, which is the, I would say the, an increase of the asset. So it's a gain for the organization, uh, which will be recorded under the OCI that are the other comprehensive incomes. If we go down, we can see a downward arrow uh, which is a loss uh, for the asset and this loss will be recorded under the income statement or uh, the profit and loss account. Our next concern is the depreciation. Depreciation is usually charged on the capital assets or fixed assets. So it is the permanent decrease in the value of an asset due to normal wear and tear in use. There are many reasons around, uh, there are uh, so many reasons are internal, so many causes are external, like wear and tear and use, obsolescence, uh, dis, uh, disposal uh, or deterioration or any other reason with the passage of time. Depreciation is usually calculated for measuring the incomes and losses that are generated from the assets. And uh, its uh, main purpose is to know the uh, real value of an asset at the end of its useful life. Depreciation is a, uh, treated as an expense and it is recorded under the profit and loss account or uh, income statement in the debit column of the income statement as an expense. Moving ahead, our next concern is disposal. What is disposal? At the end of uh, any asset's useful life, uh, it should be, we get to know when the asset is no longer useful in the organization. So it is, uh, it is usually disposed of. Asset disposal is the removal of a long-term assets from the company's accounting uh, records. Um, as it is uh, at the time of disposal of an asset, it can be done in two ways. The first way is uh, either it is sold off, the asset can be sold off with uh, any carrying value that, is, that it is carrying, or uh, it can be written off from the records completely. Going on to the NetSuite application under the fixed asset management, as I uh, as we know that fixed asset management allows us the flexibility to select which accounting period to depreciate and how the asset can be revalued or disposed of. So we will uh, take each topic one by one for which we will be going under the fixed assets setup and depreciation methods. So here we can see a FAM depreciation method list has appeared before us. So many uh, methods of depreciation are charged over here. There are so many methods like straight line method, declining balance method, double declining balance method, unit of production balance method. So here are the list of depreciation method. A formula is given over here. The internal ID is given. If we want to create any new depreciation method, we can click on this tab. So here yeah, a new window of FAM depreciation method has appeared before us. If we want to provide any name for which depreciation, uh, we can provide it over here. 
depreciation method again the description of that method can be given the period depreciation period either we want to depreciate this asset on monthly basis or yearly basis we can select it over here end period number is like uh, if we want to change the depreciation uh, like uh, from for the next uh, accounting period we want to change this uh, uh, depreciation method so we can mention the period for it in this uh, section and here in the next depreciation method the rate of depreciation that uh, we want to change uh, so will be uh, given over here depreciation formula where we can see these are the keywords that are given over here for mentioning the formula for depreciation so we can take the um, these keywords we can use these keywords or jargons from, uh, from here to mention the depreciation formula like uh, i would be taking here the straight line formula for which i will mention the uh, formula like uh, I am taking the straight line method of depreciation for which I will uh, mention the formula net net book value minus residual value divided by asset life. So here we can see as, as soon as I have selected the formula, it is represented in the formula representation. And uh, final period convention is uh, two options are given over here. Either we want to fully depreciate, uh, make the depreciation as full or we can retain the balance. So we can uh, usually it is taken as fully depreciated. After providing all these things, we can click on save and that uh, depreciation method will be introduced under our uh, depreciation method list. Another way we can see uh, under the fixed asset setup alternate method. What is this alternate method? Uh, we uh, we got to know that what is the depreciation method. Uh, it is for uh, depreciating. It is uh, made. Uh, I would say it is used for depreciate the for the depreciation of accounting. This alternate method uh, most of the companies were do. Um, uh, set up uh, two methods uh, one is the depreciation method and the other is the alternate method this is mainly for accounting depreciation method an alternate method is set up for the tax purposes we can have uh, a overview of it here we can see uh, a list of uh, fam uh, alternate method has appeared before us this is mainly done for the tax purposes so we can see the fields are also uh, have uh, you know increase if we want to create a new firm alternate method we can click over here and here we can see the name uh, is required to be given uh, for which uh, method do we want to select and its description depreciation method uh, asset life asset life is usually given by the statutory tax authorities uh, the authorities that are responsible for taxation, uh, they provide us the uh, they provide us the asset life, and financial year start subsidiary selection of subsidiary is also an important uh, thing over here. This pool flag is like uh, uh, when I check this box out. So uh, what happens that uh, when a group of fixed asset that we have in the organization. It is mainly for the method of depreciation. When we click on this tab, no, the depreciation method will be applied to a group of fixed assets. I am not checking it right now. And this override flag is for uh, making any edit or changes in the records of this uh, method. If we want to make uh, changes and uh, we want to edit the information, we can check this box out. Period convention is like, uh, uh, two options are here 12 months or 30 days each or exact number of days in months so usually some months have 30 days some months have 31 days so if we select 12 months of 30 days each so it would be considered as it is so after doing all these things we can click on save and that uh, alternate method will be introduced under our this list so this is how an asset can be depreciated, uh, uh, sorry, a depreciation method uh, can be introduced along with the alternate method. Two methods are usually taken. One is for accounting and the other is for tax purposes. Moving ahead towards the fixed asset revaluations for which we will be going under the fixed assets, transactions and asset revaluation. So here we can see an asset revaluation window has opened up before us. 
we have to mention the asset name uh, which asset do we want to revalue uh, a list of uh, the assets is given over here we can select that list like uh, i would be taking here this bisp printer and it will you can see the information is already uh, the required information is already populated over here the asset the description is given asset type current uh, book value current cost of the asset and residual value of the asset asset lifetime and the depreciation method all is already been populated over here we can we have to select the accounting books first mention the write down percentage like i would be taking here 10% asset status is shown here revision method is remaining life taken and after doing all these things we can see the asset lifetime is 24 years so after this we can click on the calculate and after calculation the process of revaluation will get started so it will provide us the revaluation details so this is how an asset can be revalued under our net uh, suite application Moving ahead towards the disposal of an asset, we will be going under the fixed asset transaction and asset disposal. We can see over here the asset sell or disposal page has opened before us. The first field that we are having is the disposal item. i have told you that the asset can be disposed of in two ways either it is sold or it is written off so two options are given here if we if i select sale here so we have to mention the disposal date of it if the sale is made so obviously there is uh, some customer so which uh, whose name is required to be given over here sales takes code sales item here under under the asset id name we have to mention which asset do we want to dispose of like i have taken a bisp fittings and you can see as soon as i have selected the asset the current cost depreciation date quantity and the status of depreciation is already been appeared over here i will click on add so the other things that are over here is already been taken like the current cost of asset is 38000 the quantity is given over here sales amount if we want to uh, it is a mandatory field which is required to be given and after providing all these details we can uh, dispose we can click on the dispose tab and this item will be disposed of what happens when the asset uh, we want to sell of the asset so the fixed asset management software automatically dispatches the invoice as it is a sales uh, transactions for which the invoice is already generated by the uh, fam software and uh, if we want to you know dispose of this asset like i have selected here sale so if i want to write uh, this asset off so you can see the information the so you know the things have changed now the fields have changed now i would select some other things that i want to dispose of like i would be taking here bisp electricals you can see the current cost is changed if this last depreciation quantity and all the things have been changed now and uh, uh, we i will click on the dispose item and this asset would be disposed of or written off from the accounting records of the organization another thing is around if we want to dispose of the asset in bulk so we can use the import csv option uh, which is mainly used for the bulk loading and uh, it will you know dispose of the asset in one run only so this is how an asset can be disposed of under our net suite application we have seen how the asset is revalued uh, depreciated and disposed of under our net suite application in case of any questions queries or consultations feel free to write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you